Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it looks like the uh, the Lucasfilm NDAs are up, right? Yeah, because now we have a couple actors coming out talking about basically how The Last Jedi changed it all, not in a good way. Yeah, so we got Adam Driver, who played Kylo Ren, coming out and saying that, yeah, the story was originally different. Uh, Kylo Ren was going to stay on the dark side. And it, he was going to be Sith. And he was going to be a Sith, and it was going to go a much darker uh, route. And uh, we have uh, Andy Serkis, who was not happy with how they treated Snoke. They mm -hmm. cut Snoke in half. Most of them won't, because they're like, okay, and there was like no answers. There, yeah, they tried to, to retroactively come up with, I mean, clearly Snoke was being set up to be the big bad and they're like, nah, he's just a whatever. Clone. He's in my way. He's in my way. Um, so it's interesting. And this is on top of, you know, Mark Hamill making some comments about how he didn't like how Luke Skywalker was treated. And, you know, I mean, look, whatever you think about the sequel trilogy, it's, it's very obvious that the thing was a cluster fuck. Can't I'm sorry, that. but it was. It, yeah, it's like it's it's not making people happy. Even um, when we kept saying term. about how there didn't seem like there was an overarching plan, and there should have been. Here's what's going to happen: in the first movie, the second movie, the third movie. It's usually a trilogy, and we're, we would imply that it was interconnected. And they were going to have this plan. They clearly didn't have one. It was clearly all over the damn place. We got all kinds of shit from people saying that's not true until the rise of Skywalker came out and they walked back everything they liked. And they're like, oh my God, guys, I don't think there was a plan. What? It's like, you don't say, dumbass. So it's like, obviously, obviously the critics were right. And you can argue. I mean, look, if you like the Disney sequels. You're allowed to like the Disney sequels. I, fine. Good for you. I'm happy for you. But we've got George Lucas saying he wasn't a big fan. <laughs> we got... We got Mark Hamill uh, kind of trying to get out there. And I, I have to wonder if the NDAs are up, is Mark Hamill going to come out stronger in opposition to how Luke was treated in the sequel trilogy and be like, yeah, actually, if I had my way, it would have been completely different. Remember the Akbar actor getting all mad? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Because they made him do It's a Wrap and then they killed his character off yep. and blew him out of space, uh, the spaceship. <laughs> it's like, look, I'm sorry. Like. I I believe there are six Star Wars movies there. That's George Lucas. That's G canon. That's what they used to do back in the day when they deal with the expanded universe is they had multiple levels of canon and G canon was the stuff that George Lucas himself actually created and everything else was apocryphal and you could take it or leave it, you know, and uh, I, I just believe those first six movies are G canon. Everything else is not. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot more of this if the NDAs are up. So let's talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, the Acolyte getting reshoots. Oh, shocker. Uh, oh, boy. Maybe they're trying to salvage that, too. So, yeah, it's another dose of Dismal Disney. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get woohoo if you do. Uh, go out to shop clownfish.com. You can pick up a copy of Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. These are two graphic novels we published this year. Mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty fun. They're pretty colorful. The printing is very high quality. And, and you can you can have a copy of, of one or both uh, if you go out to shopclownfish.com. Mm -hmm. They're in stock, ready to go. Yep, I will ship them when we get orders. All right. So uh, let's talk about who we want to talk about first. Um, well, let's and, talk about Adam Driver because that okay. came first. We'll okay. talk about this one first. All right. So this is coming from uh, Entertainment Weekly. Yep. Um, he said that uh, the actor who made his debut – as Kylo Ren said that they had a more darker and villainous storyline in li or uh, in store for him. He said, I had an overall arc in mind that J.J. Abrams wanted to do, which, you know, then change. Driver recalled during an appearance on The Rich Eisen Show. Oh, my God. The Rich Eisen, they keep advertising that on Roku TV. I was going to say, I keep hearing the commercial for it. Yeah. Yeah, his idea was that Kylo's journey was almost the opposite of Vader, where Vader starts the most confident and the most committed to the dark side, and then by the last movie is the most vulnerable and weak. He wanted to do the opposite. Uh, with Kylo, he said Kylo was supposed to be the most confused and vulnerable, and by the end of the three movies, he would be the most committed to the dark side. So there's no saving him. That actually would have been kind of interesting, I think. Yeah, I think the whole movie when he when he killed his dad was supposed to set him off on that, and then they oh, what you know he just misunderstood. Yeah, what if uh, Vader committed to the bit? You know, it's called just, the Raylos. The Raylos. That's exactly what was like. Oh yeah, we gotta have him turn back, but he's also gotta die. So he had. I tried to keep that arc in mind, regardless. Uh, if that wound up being the journey or not, uh, because it changed while shooting, but I was still focused on that. So there are a lot of things. Yeah. And he blames Ryan Johnson. Uh-huh. So, so do many of us. 
As for when the trilogy began diverging from the original vision, Driver pointed to The Last Jedi, noting how writer-director Ryan Johnson took Kylo's story in a different direction, but argued that it still tracked with the character. Uh -huh. He said the real change, however, came from the, conclu uh, the conclusive Rise of Skywalker. Uh, because, yeah, what are they supposed to do? They had to, they changed the trajectory, so they have to try to pull it out, you know? Mm -hmm. The last one, it changed into being about them and the dyad and the things like that kind of evolving into uh, Ben Solo. That was never part of it. He was Ben Solo from the beginning, but it was never a version where we'd actually see Ben Solo when I first signed up. Yeah, he was a lot more threatening with a mask on. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just, like the, I, mask the whole on. thing's stupid. And you can t clearly tell that they had one plan, then changed it, then went back to, then they they tried to scrape back what they could um, when they brought Abrams back for the last one. Everybody, we kept calling this the entire time, and like, you're full of crap. But no, even even Adam Driver saying that's what happened. Shocker. He said he doesn't have to be redeemed. He's like, why does he have to be redeemed? Yeah, you know? because the Raylos. Yeah, Kylo has a different identity, a different definition of what redemption is. He's already been redeemed in his story. I don't think there is a thought of redemption. He doesn't have an outside lens of events. You know, that's more of an outsider's view of his world. Yeah, so right, he, the Raylos. Yeah, I think that's that's hilarious. So he's even like, yeah, he was supposed to be a bad guy through and through. From that would be a much more interesting movie. But then so would Finn being a Jedi. Yeah, I mean, I could I could have actually seen them setting Finn up to be a Jedi. And Ray actually turning to the dark side. Ray being the one you have to bring back from the dark side. No, you could still have a Raylo. You know, you could. <laughs> they could be. Uh, they they could be like uh, evil and in love. You know, and then she she winds up like literally stabbing him in the back. Yeah, <laughs> and they have to bring her back or something. But uh, so not only is Adam Driver coming out and saying that was not the plan, Andy Serkis, uh, who is the the go to I guess motion capture performer now. They said he was unhappy with how The Last Jedi treated Snoke. That yeah. was a lot of people. Because a lot of people thought, okay, we're going to have all these questions be answered. And then, like, well, who's Snoke? And he's the big bad, right? Right. N no. No, he's nothing. He's just like a clone or something. I'm still I'm still confused as to what the First Order is. I'm still confused as to what Snoke was. Just a clone, I guess. Apparently. Because they tried to make it like, oh, he's just one of many by The Rise of Skywalker after they killed him off. So but, yeah, yeah. So the big question is, who is Snoke? We still don't know. <laughs> this is what he said in GQ magazine. He said that. Uh, let me phrase it like this: When I went to read the Last Jedi, I spent the first thirty pages thinking this is the most incredible character. And then I turned the page, and then Snoke gets sliced in half, and I was gutted. Gutted. Yeah, you were. Mm -hmm. You were cut in half. You were gutted. Everybody makes that joke. Even Mr. Milo made that joke. Yeah. But, and then they brought him back for Andor. Uh, which was kind of funny because he wasn't in the suit, so you, they could. I mean, maybe right. like they still owed him another movie or something or show. So they I don't that. know. But yeah, so I, apparently he thought he was going to be a much bigger deal. He didn't say that, but I think he was supposed to be in the movies further and be the big bad guy. And they went from that to being like, yeah, you're done for no good reason. The only thing that made sense now, they said that he was basically just a meat puppet uh, for Darth Sidious, right? That he was like a one Yeah, of retroactively. Times. Retroactively. I think the... Only thing that would have made sense, and that was a fan theory, was that he was actually Darth Plagueis, because that would have brought things full circle. That like, oh, okay, now we're dealing with an even bigger bad. We're dealing with Darth Sidious. No, because why do that when uh, we could just do the Emperor all over again? We can just do the Emperor all why, over. Why, you know, we got we got Star Killer as opposed to Death Star because it's bigger. It's bigger. <laughs> like, but I guess this would be the same yeah. thing. He's just the Emperor, but he's bigger. You know. Yeah. And he wears a golden bathrobe like Hugh Hefner. And yeah, he, he he made no sense. Snoke made no sense. The only way that Snoke would have made sense is if he had ties to Palpatine or he was like, you know, had something to do with Luke Skywalker or something. I, I don't know. It was just like, no, nah, he's, just, he's just a clone because we're bringing Palpatine back because, yeah, sure, we have to because we have to try to get the fans back. It's like, yeah, well, it actually they actually made things worse. I To this day, I have not seen The Rise of Skywalker. I've seen bits of it. I don't want to watch it. I, I don't, I don't, I have no desire to watch it. It's to me that the sequel trilogy is apocryphal. It doesn't exist. It should be decanonized and whoever is next should just be like, yeah, you know, that never happened. It never happened. Um, speaking of trouble with Star Wars, uh, the Alkalite, which is being run by Harvey Weinstein's gal Friday, mm -hmm. Leslie Headland is uh, apparently getting a bunch of reshoots. They already ran a trailer for it. So now they're changing it. Yeah. Um, this Shocker. Is, 
This is coming from uh, LRM Online. And they got it from the Bespin Bulletin. The Bespin Bulletin, yeah, because of the rumors. According to sources, the Alkalite is or has been undergoing reshoots in the UK for a number of weeks. A number of weeks. A number of weeks. Okay. Uh, I was made aware of the reshoots a couple of weeks ago that took place at the end of November and the start of December when the production ventured into Rickman's, Rickmansworth, a town located in Hertfordshire, England. The production is set up in a local forest and shot for a few nights before moving on. I don't know if the reshoots were planned or not, but I suspect that they are. That's an awful long time for reshoots. Yeah, so they said that the shoot that took place in the forest focused on two individuals taking part in a lightsaber duel. Um, yeah, they just said that they they caught people doing the fight or whatever. But, I mean, the fact they're doing reshoots. How, when did they shoot this I don't originally? know. It, I, I don't even know, honestly. So we'll throw this in there. We'll throw this into the mix, especially with... Uh, a certain person uh, and his his island. Apparently, these names are going to be released, so there are going to be a lot of a lot of crazy things going on. I think in regards to this sort of thing. But uh, uh, apparently, uh, Julia Ormond uh, was suing Disney and her talent agency for letting Harvey Weinstein be a creep. Is that is that basically? And they're not arguing that they that they that she has no claim to sue them. I just think it's funny. The reason we're bringing this up is because Leslie Headland was one of Harvey Weinstein's assistants. I, and the yeah. rumor was when it got announced, okay, it was weird how they announced the Acolyte. Like it appeared in the Hollywood Reporter, I think, or Variety, if you're which one, I think the Hollywood Reporter. And it appeared as it appeared as an article, but it didn't seem to be an official announcement. And the rumor was that uh KK and what and Headland, you know, end run the Bobs to get this out there. And if they, they cancel it, then they'd be like, you don't like women. But it was weird because Disney was possibly going to be drug into this lawsuit. Well, this is a different one, but the lawsuits around Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. And this person was one of his people. So they really didn't want to do anything with this person because of the issues. And, you know, it was announced publicly before it was, was supposed to be. That's the rumor. Um, so now that Dis now that Disney's getting sued by somebody else associated with Weinstein. Yeah, I think... Um I think she knew. She had to have known. She was his personal assistant. Well, she said that they, the assistants were the ones helping set up and getting women in there sometimes. So who knows? That's what, that's what they're saying. Maybe she was I getting some too. I can't prove it. Too. I wasn't there. Who I'm knows? Just saying. Uh, yeah, this is going to be really awkward for them because I'm sure when they do the um, promotional push for this, whenever it comes out, unless they kind of just sweep it under the rug like like Andor, like, oh, yeah, there's a new Star Wars show. Go watch it or don't. We don't really care. Um, I'm sure it's going to come up. Like, hey, you used to work for Harvey Weinstein. Have, no, have, they'll tell, you can't ask that question if you want to be part of the interview. Yeah, no, yeah. they will. Disney will literally have uh, a list of questions you can't ask. But, I mean, Star Wars is toast, man. It's just, like, I don't even know what to say. You've got people who, you know, worked on The Last Jedi coming out now and being like, yeah, this isn't what was supposed to happen. You know? It's just like, then why are we doing it? Oh, money. Money. Uh, until there isn't, you know? So we're going to wrap this yep. up. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.